What were your schools like growing up? Um, they were great. Uh, uh, we went to the, the, oh, I have to tell you this one story. This friend of mine, we were very, very close. She uh, was uh, at five when she came from Italy, and we lived about four houses away from her, and we became real close friends. Now, she started kindergarten when I started, but she couldn't speak a word of English. So she, and she, to this day, I meet her at, that, at St. Peter's, and she says, you were my interpreter, Connie. I said, I don't remember that. She says, yes, you were, because you spoke the English, and we didn't speak English at all, so you were my, inter and my interpreter, and I, that's how I got by. Wow. Yeah. Because <laughs> they were bilingual, for everybody in her generation. So you speak Italian as well? Well, the dialect. So I, I, I can't carry on, carry on a conversation with somebody from Genoa, for instance, because I, I don't... It's very I, regional. It, they yeah. laugh at her. <laughs> it, 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 it's, a, it's a dialogue, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's the, 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 each one has a little bit. And I speak more, I would say I speak more of a, of a body accent than I do from San Ferdinando, mm. because I, I <clears throat> associated with all those kids in my neighborhood. And they were mostly from body. So that's why I, because one person asked me, said, well, when did you come from Italy? I said, I've never been there. Wow. <laughs> I had never been there. And I was already married when I, this question was asked. And, but I have been there three times now. <laughs> How did you get to school? Did you walk? walk? walk. Yeah, the school was very close, very close. In fact, um, when we went to uh, high school, well, junior high, we walked also. And that was, well, from New Depot Street to, to Sunset Boulevard up on the hill there. That was Fort Hill. And uh, we walked to that. But um, now we went to high school, Belmont. There was no way of walking. So what we did, we, we uh, pay the five nickel to go to school, and then we'd walk home so we could buy something with that other nickel. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> Was that the red car? Yes, a little red car. Thank you. <laughs> Do you remember your favorite subject in school? Sewing. Home economics. I loved it. What did you love about it? Uh, well, first of all, we learned, uh, uh, now, you know, that's a shame they don't teach the kids today. We learned how to cook. We, I used to bake uh, a lot of stuff. I don't do it anymore, and I haven't for a long time. But I'm saying we always knew how, you know, to do it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I went to uh, high school, now I contribute this to my teacher. And I'll never forget her. Her name is Mrs. Andrews. And uh, that was, the, 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 I was in her class when I had to quit. Because I had to support the family. There was three of us, you know, my, myself four. So um, she said to me, um, well, uh, I'll, uh, I hope you're in my class next year. And I said, I won't be here next year. Why, I, uh, why aren't you gonna be here? I said, because I have to quit, because my brother got married and he's with his wife now, and he has to support her. And uh, I said, I just, I won't be coming back. Oh, she said, my goodness, no. She said, I know what's gonna happen to you. You'll go in a factory, and I cannot see you in a factory. You're too fine of a seamstress to go in a factory. I said, what am I going to do? She said, N I want you to go to a trade school. And I have a friend that's the head of the department in the trade school. Well, she was one of the teachers in there. And I, I'm going to call her, and I'm going to see that you get in her class. Well, let me tell you, in the Depression, 
Everybody was in that trade school. Men were learning of mechanics. Men were learning how to do cement work. It was a wonderful school, absolutely wonderful. And so she said to me, I'm going to call her and you're going to get into her class. She called her and she said, oh no, I just can't, I can't, I, I just can't have her. She said, I, I have a, a room full of people here. Well, I don't care, you put her at your, at your desk. And so that's how I got to the trade school. And then in going to the trade school, you had to be there, uh, you had to, they got you the job. And they got you a job, and then you had to be working in the job six months before they gave you a diploma. So you had to cut the mustard, in other words. Well, my first job was on Beverly Drive, sewing for the Canner Girls. Wow. And we had a room that wasn't any bigger, it was about half the size of this room. And there was four of us sitting at the table, including the, the owner. And uh, this is how I got started. And then the bottom fell out. The banks closed. She lost everything. She lost everything, the owner. So there I am without a job again. <laughs> so then uh, through, uh, through the school, I, I got another job. So I was very lucky. I had wonderful jobs. So Mrs. Andrews would be your favorite teacher. My favorite teacher. She was wonderful. She really saw you and saw your, your skill and fought for you. And I loved my teacher in junior high, uh, Mrs. Doherty. Why did you love Mrs. Doherty? Well, she was a, 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 a very kind person. She was our homeroom teacher. Yeah. And she was very nice. I loved her.